Hello, welcome to tf2tricks.tumblr.com. This is a podcast about Team Fortress 2, but probably not. Like, it's mostly about Team Fortress 2. But we'll a lot try of it won't be. We'll try, we'll try. We should try okay. our best. Intro, dealt with. It's, I guess seeing as there's like no, nothing happened in TF2 and yeah. this doesn't have a topic, so this is just like answering questions podcast because we haven't done a podcast in like four years. Oof, oh man. <laughs> that's... <laughs> It's, it's been 84 years. It's been 84 years. <laughs> uh, good. We could talk about um, robot hats or new. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you just kind of you covered that. I had some well. that right there, didn't I? <laughs> uh, a whole community. Robot hats. <laughs> Let's let's wear robots on our heads. They're Fifty-seven pretty... of them, to be exact. <laughs> There's fifty-seven new robots, guys. <laughs> Put them on your head. <laughs> so let's just go straight for uh, questions. Yes. Okay, then Ven- Veneziano stuff <laughs> asked. I'm going to be playing TF2 very soon, and a friend of mine once told me that there's a certain amount of slang used by the players, i.e. NG. Are there any other slang phrases that would be helpful to know before playing TF2? Uh, yeah, there's plenty. It, it's true. It's... <laughs> um, okay, so this kind of fits into two different car- categories. There are um, specific things that you call things on maps, for instance. Mm-hmm. Like you'll say, the, the tower and people will know what you're talking about depending on the map. Just like the hut or something like that. Oh yeah, or, or choke. The first choke yeah. or whatever. But that, that you have to kind of learn that yourself while you're playing the maps and stuff. That's, that's how I did it anyway. Um, and the other one is things like some classes like Sully means soldier. Demo, um, demo man. I mean, yeah. Most of them are pretty self-explanatory, really. Yeah. Cart, intel, like all that stuff. But yeah, all, like flog. Flog is flagious name. Yeah, they're um, all pretty self-explanatory. Sydney Shitter. <laughs> um, That's not one. Uh, yeah, it is. No, it's not. Um, the Luxon Lols. <laughs> oh, that's your personal one. No one else says the Luxon Lols. Well, actually, the, the Luxon Lols came from Shivy, who, like, I watched one of his videos, and he was like, the Luxon Lols. I was like, hey, that's kind of funny. The rest of your videos suck, but that's kind of funny. <laughs> And before that, before that, I just said Lodge and Crotch, actually. The Lodge and Crotch. The Lodge and Crotch. That's better, I think. The Lodge and Crotch? Um, yeah. Um. <laughs> 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 trying to think of, like, I guess, other than just, like, general gaming, like, slang. Like, that's not really slang. Yeah, like, like, frag. Like, GG. Just all that stuff. Gibbs. GG. Gibbets. GL. Goose. HF. Is good luck, have fun. Thank you, bro. Like, how we're saying all these things, we're not actually explaining what they are. Um, scrim is one that, that's like a, a practice match if you're in a Highlander or a Sixties team. It's like a, like a, not a, an actual league match, that's just like a practice. Mm-hmm. Uh, UGC is a league, um, and that has divisions. It's got Iron, Steel, uh, what's after Iron and Steel? Final. So Plano, I know there's gold now. Oh shit, really? See, so even, even we don't fucking know. See, we're good at this game. <laughs> Just things like, okay, things like camping, I guess. Things like civilian, things like comp, meaning competitive. Yeah. Custom map, crit, demo night, demo pan, demo spam. Did you look up a list? No, I'm just like throwing these off the top of my head. Oh, that's impressive. Katana. Yeah. yeah no. Cleaver. Cleaver, yeah. Cleaver is a good one, because that's, that's mm-hmm. the flying guillotine. Yeah, the name it's just of the, the Cleaver. <laughs> People call it the Cleaver because the bar and the game that the, loads the back up, says it's, 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 it says Cleaver. Uh, so people call it the Cleaver. Quick scoping, but I mean, I guess that's like rage quit. Like, fucking, it's like, just like, yeah. I mean, it's all very self explanatory. Yeah, you can. Right, you can. Um, okay. Next question. Cancel 3 asks. 
Matt Smith announced that he's leaving Doctor Who at the end of the year. How are your feelings on that? I'm Jesus. personally excited to see what the next Doctor has in store. The post only lets me send it message. Um, um, the next Doctor is going to be Bruce Wayne from Wayne Manor and Wayne Industries. Uh, he is going to be a rich so, man. when you said Bruce Wayne, the first thing I thought of was um, Die Hard. Bruce Campbell, is that his name? No, it's John McClane. Who's Bruce Campbell? He's the actor that plays Ash Williams in The Evil Dead. <laughs> um, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Uh, can we... Um, um, I, don't, I don't watch or like Doctor Who. I apologize, so Aaron can feel this question. Um... Matt Smith was the very first Doctor I ever saw. Uh... Fucking whatever, I don't care, like, he's leaving, okay, that's cool. He was the Doctor for a while, and he did a good job, in my opinion. But now it's time for someone else to, to take the, uh... The, uh, the mace, if you will. The mace? Yeah, that's a thing. Don't you mean, don't you mean the reins? Or the wheel? No, I mean the mace. I was in the spray t- t- mace, or the mace has in like a big fucking metal spiky ass ball. <laughs> the ladder. Okay. Um. Oh. Okay. Next one. I personally. Bl- oh, that's not a question. What? <laughs> what podcast what? do you guys like to listen to? Oh. Um. Um, well, clearly, if you check the iTunes charts, TF2 Tricks best podcast, the podcast yes, is correct. one all day. Okay, I'm not sure if it counts, but no, it doesn't really count. Game Grumps doesn't really count. That's not a podcast. Um, I used to watch some, uh, or listen to some film ones that were recommended by Film Riot a, a while ago, like months and months ago. I can't even remember what they're called, though. What and uh, Film Riot? Huh? What's Film Riot? Film Riot is like a YouTube channel that uh, that teaches you how to make films like really cheaply. Like it, it shows you props and like camera angles and stuff. It's really cool. Well, there you go. But I don't I don't really listen to podcasts. <laughs> um, <laughs> this one podcast. I think the very first podcast I ever listened to was this thing called Memph. It was M E M P F. Memph. And this was years and years and years ago. Um, but these guys made videos. It was like a video podcast. And it was just like four guys sitting in this one dude's bedroom playing video games. And they were just like, <laughs> like giving their like talks about it and stuff. They had, like, I found them because they did, when, like, the day the brawl came out, they had a 16 part podcast on it, each part being an hour. Wow. They played. They played brawl nonstop for sixteen. Oh months. Um. And they yeah, it was just like general shit like that, and it's just like they played new games that came out. It was kind of neat. Um. Hmm. They, it was like different people each time. Well, not each time. There were a few like recurring people and a few people who replaced them and stuff like that. Um. I listened to the Zelda Universe podcast. Which, uh, ZeldaUniverse.net, I suppose? Um, it's just the Zelda fan site who made a podcast for Zelda stuff, and I listen to that often. But, in my opinion, that has since diminished in quality. But, I mean, whatever. <laughs> and <laughs> this other one I listen to called The Game Heroes. Or, no, The Prototype. It's by The Game Heroes. Which are, like, you don't know who, like, Screw Attack is and all that stuff, right? Mm-mm. Um, well, it's those guys, like, if anybody does know what Screw Attack is, it's like Handsome Tom, and Limited Edition Jason, and Mike Dodd. And they're, like, just sitting around talking about video games. Like, <laughs> like, this week in the industry, this game came out, this was announced. Like, this most recent week, I've been playing this game, and, like, all just all this stuff. And it was cool, and they're, like, all really entertaining to listen to, and you can get video game news from that. And I don't think they've updated it in, like, months. But there you go. Yay. Yay, podcasts. Yay. Hey, dude. Anonymous Mm. asks, what's your guy's favorite Pokemans? 
Um. Yeah, you're a grabber. Graveler, it's best Pokemon. M mine's, mine's also Generation 1. Don't it's also be grabber. mistaken, I, I ver I'm very much a fan of most of the Pokemon games, but my favorite Pokemon is Psyduck. Um, Graveler, right? Uh, ye no. Sorry. Graveler? No. Psyduck. He said he's like a he's like a yellow duck with a headache. Oh, he's like Gra the giant rock with arms, right? No, oh, he's arms. he's the he's he's a small yellow duck with a headache and a ghost beak. Four arms. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Graveler is the best Pokemon. I don't care what that okay, let's on. let's move on. Next one. That's been out for a Psyduck. while. Or Ansel three asks. Now that it's been out for a while. What? Is your opinion on Graveler? Oh, he has been out for a while. That's a good oh question, God. Ansel. <laughs> he has been out for a while. At least he gave us at least he gave us a good amount of time to like weigh him over in our minds, right? I hate you. Okay. I'm so dumb. <laughs> what? I'm so dumb. Oh, I thought you said Zelda. I said, what? <laughs> okay, now that it's been out for a while, what's your general <laughs> opinion on the RoboHat update? Was it something that TF2 actually really needed, or do you think Valve is just Stalling to buy some time to finish some next update. Also, Robo give us yay or nay? This is a fantastic question, actually. Indeed, indeed. You, you, you go first. Um, I think it's wonderful to see community involvement such as this. Um, I think I don't think they necessarily. Do, I mean, I'm sure. Cause there's this whole bread thing going on. Whatever. Yeah, that's like a, a like a like a like a semi AR. AR G thing going on right now. It's just like loads no one really thing. knows what's happening. Yeah, but like, but. I think it was nice. I think I think it was something. It, it wasn't something the game needed, but it was something it deserved. You know what I mean? Like Batman. Stop. What is the Batman of updates? <laughs> <laughs> Robotic battle. <laughs> okay. So, I pretty much agree. Um, although my, my main issue with it is the fact that, like, for almost every major update at Fourteen Fortress Two, it's made me like run to my computer and want to play the game so much. But this one came out, and I was just like, "Oh, I've already got hats." Yeah, I've already got those like normal versions of that hat, and it doesn't yeah. look that much different. And I don't really care about hats. I'm sorry. And uh, do you think Volvo was stalling to buy some time? Well, they're not usually ones to stall. They're just usually ones to not come out with anything <laughs> until the thing is done. Yeah, it's a good. E.g. E Pyro Day, e.g. Uh, Man vs. Machine. Um, so yeah, this just this was just like a little community thing, and I could completely support the fact that the entire update was community based, and the fact that all the money is going to the community as well. It's like top marks kudos to Valve for that it's fantastic what I would like to see though is some community maps and community yes. weapons yes. with new stats that need weapons that would make weapons weapons, and weapons. Maps. weapons that would make that would make me actually want to play the fucking game also Robo yeah. Gibbous or nay I'm just going to say nay nay say nay for Robo Gibbous oh fuck oh sorry Galvanized Gibbous. I think it go yeah yeah. I mean it's, it's just a fucking robot Gibbous. It's just the same as hey, the normal Gibbous. You're the Mister who's all like I suck Gibbous's potatoes. Uh, yeah, the Gibbous is a cool hat. It's a tattered, tattered top hat. But we don't need a fucking robot version of it. But now we do. Sorry. No, we don't need it. We have it. But we don't we need have it, it now. <laughs> <laughs> um. But maybe it's the thing we you never knew you needed. Well, I've still not got it, so... Well, <laughs> I haven't got everything I need. Like, oxygen. I'm in space. Little known fact, I'm actually <laughs> blogging in space right now. Um, would, you like to take a look at, would you like to take a look at my Tumblr URL, Aaron? <laughs> You're a babe, I'm in space. Get it right, dude. Um, under the water... Well, I guess technically there's oxygen in the water. Cause H2O. Let's move on before we get all Vsauce. <laughs> Here's an idea. 
What would happen if you... No, that's, that's, that's the I, news channel. Yeah, I know. Making references, you fuck ass. So it's more like... Teeth Two Tricks, Rory here. Hey, Ass. Teeth Two Tricks, Rory here. Did you know <laughs> that if you took the galvanized gibbous and gave a shit about it, nobody would care? I love how you just like, took the other opinion there. <laughs> you just like sort of say it. <laughs> I don't even know. A uh, pretentious medic asked... I've played Medic for about 450 hours. Well, kudos to you, pretentious Medic, because fuck me. That's a lot of hours, Medic. Um, but I'm still finding it difficult to stay alive under fire. Any Is that, oh. So you're kind of um, robot in here. Oh, there we go. It's fixed. Sorry. You're good. You're good. What was the, what was the question? Um, 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 where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Uh, <laughs> Uh, basically, how do you stay alive under fire as a medic? Don't stop moving. Don't stop moving, ever. And stay stay behind who you're healing. If there's yes. an enemy, be on the other side of yes. the person you're healing. But also, this goes both ways. As pockets, protect your fucking... Protect your medics. Just please. What, fucking, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? I do not play medic, but please protect a medic. Just fucking protect your medics. There you also... Go. Kudos to you, sir, for actually wanting and trying to play medic because I have the utmost respect for good medics because like I am me. not one. I'm the number one medic in the world. No, you're you're not. Sorry, what you just fucked in? That goes to doctor, and I'm I'm not even gonna. <laughs> was that gonna come up with a realized doctor? <laughs> <laughs> um, comes up uh, doctor Jones. Doctor Doctor Ferguson, my do oh yeah, you're right. Doctor. Dude, Dr. Jones could beat Dr. Ferguson in a fight any day of the week. <laughs> Monday? Yeah. Tuesday? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wednesday, Thursday, Friday? Yeah. Sunday? <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's move on. Saturday? Yep. Um. Slapstick Schmuck answered or asked Favorite loadouts to use as a soldier? Hmm. Hmm. I'm going. Uh, recently, actually, I have been playing nothing but the Airborne Armaments set. Oh, yeah, you're loving that. Liberty Launcher, Reserve Shooter, Market Gardener. Uh, it's amazing. <laughs> or at least I like it a lot. I don't know if it's actually any good, but I like it. <laughs> I mean, you're doing good with it, so... Yeah. Um, uh, other than that... Excuse me. Usually stuck, uh, Rocket Launcher. I would usually recommend or direct hit. Like, going to yeah, both. Yeah, it's entirely situational when it comes to rocket launcher direct hit. Yeah. Those are the two, really. Um, um, yeah, but it's also about, like, preference and stuff. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Um, for me, it's the stock rocket launcher uh, gunboats on Market Gardener recently. Mm -hmm. um, I do like to switch out for the escape plan... And I do like to switch here for the shotguns sometimes, but not as much these days. Because rocket jumping is just too valuable to me. Yeah, I've seen you use the direct hit quite often. Though. Yeah, direct hit's good. Whenever there's like a sentry that needs to be dealt with, I get the direct hit out. That's... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah I, I, if I ever flip-flop between direct hit and stock, it's just because I'm feeling one or the other. Yeah, um, also quick tip if anyone didn't know this, if you shoot two direct hit rockets... Uh, uh, sentry, it, it's gonna, it goes down immediately if there's no one uh, healing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Level 3 sentry goes down with two rockets. Yep, very good to know. Very, very good to know. Yes, yes, Rory, that is very good to know. On I to will slap time. your shit. Okay. Yep. Uh, Average Rob asks, It's hard to use stock demo when you find yourself in close range with a pyro. Any tips on that? What do you do, Rory? So how do you stock demo when you find yourself a close range situation? Um, um, time your shots. It's the same as same as playing soldier against the pyro. Time your shots. Time them just a little bit off so they cannot air blast them. It does take practice, and I can't give you any sort of other tip than that. MGE to against the pyro to practice it is the the way I learned. Yeah. It's um, yeah, just timing or element of surprise. Don't let them see you. Come up behind just, them, um, with your ham. You can just fuck their faces with a bottle, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. just yeah. run at them. Um, in, most, in most cases, if you run at someone in the game, they don't know what to do. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the general, like... But general I guess if they, have, yeah. if, they have, if they have the air blast, I guess, is another thing. Average Rob is pointing out here. Yeah. Because close combat, you can just shove you away. So yeah, it's about timing. Um, something A really good demo tip, actually, is if you shoot uh, some stickies behind your target without seeing, just kind of spam them and shoot one or two behind them so that when they back up to get away from you, you can detonate them like that. Ooh, yeah. That's a good, that's a good tip. Also, just general good tip for fighting pyro close range. Don't. <laughs> like, mm. like, they're going to fuck yeah. you up if you get too yeah. close to them, no matter what class yeah, you just, are. Just avoid it if you can. Like, I mean, as a demo, you can totally sticky jump away. Mm-hmm. Demo's not a really good counter for pyro. Yeah, it's really bad. Yep. <laughs> so basically, that boiled <laughs> down to, how do I do this? Deal with it. Yeah, or don't. <laughs> or don't. <laughs> Um, Dunk Hazard asks, do you prefer the vanilla sapper? I... Oh, he asked two questions. What's one entirely new weapon you want for any of the classes? And I don't mean a weapon with different stats, I mean an entirely new weapon we haven't seen yet. Ooh, that's a nice question. Uh, um, first one that comes to mind for me is hit scan for Demomon, but that would be too unbalanced. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, or hit scan for Medic, but again, too unbalanced. Yeah, no, that'd be kind of absurd mm-hmm. so I don't know just like a to- like I'm guessing they mean like when the huntsman was introduced yeah. kind of thing like the huntsman's a totally new weapon yeah or the flare gun flare gun's a totally new weapon islander's a totally new weapon mm-hmm. so uh, I don't know maybe like a, a garrot for the spy would be cool a what now a garrot you know the things like you like the, the thin bit of wire that you choke someone with oh That'd be cool, but like, that's, I can, I can say with full confidence that's not going to happen because yeah. the amount of animation they would have to put in the game, <laughs> and the game's too old now for anyone to give that much of a shit. Mm, that's a good point. <laughs> Caltrops as a spy would be pretty cool. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. They'd be, oh, they could work kind of like stickies where you could like, like wall off an area, you know? Or like, uh-huh. like kind of work with a choke point. Except you can't remove them with bullets, and they don't, like, detonate on command. And, like, there's just, like, a one-time use, kind of, like, you step oh, out, okay. like, ah, ah. And maybe uh, it's, like, damage. A, maybe it's, like, yeah, bleed damage, or maybe it's, like, a rechargeable kind of thing. Maybe. Um, that just made me think, what about, uh, mines for the demo man? Like, um, I, t- I forgot the word that I'm trying to look for here. Like, so you walk, you walk over them and they go boom. <laughs> <laughs> motion sensor bombs? I guess there's a word that I'm looking for. I'm going to, it's going proximity to come Proximity mines? Prox- yeah, there you go. Thank you. Proximity mines. Yeah. yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be pretty chill, yeah. yeah just, as like, long as time you know, as... Like, you throw it on somebody and it's like, oh, you're going to blow up and like, well... Oh yeah, like sticky bombs that stick to people would be cool too. That would be cool, yeah. Hmm. Me and my friend came up with this one idea for that, but I totally can't remember, like, anything anymore. So <laughs> now, what it. did you bring it home? Yeah, that's what I'd say. I, was... <laughs> I mean... <laughs> it, it reminded me of that, is what I was, oh, was, okay. what I was attempting to communicate. Um, Bitch, I'm a wizard asks, is mayonnaise an instrument? No, Patrick. No, Patrick. Mayonnaise is not an instrument. Dunk Hazard asks again, do you prefer the Vanilla Sapper or the Red Tape Recorder? Also, out of more recent weapons, Triad Mecha Update, what's your favorite? Oh, jeez. Um. A Vanilla Sapper, because it gives you points. Does the <laughs> Red Tape Recorder not give you points? Nope. Not even if it fully breaks it? Nope. No hmm. points. That's absurd. Unless it's changed since I've used it, but last time I used it, no. That's absurd. Um, Mecha update and triad update. So let me try and remember what weapons came out. For the mecha update, we had the uh, loose mecha cannon. Mecha update was loose cannon, lone ranger, vaccinator. That's triad true. was neon annihilator, hulon heater, uh, the cleaver. Yeah, and the um, red tape recorder. One? Oh, the red tape recorder. Yeah. Um, is that it? I think that's it. Yeah, I think so. I'm going to go with mecha update because new demo man. Yeah, launcher was definitely. long overdue. 
we needed something, and I do like that weapon a lot. It's very this fun. This a lot of fun. Um, Lone Ranger is also a lot of fun. Lone uh, Ranger. Mm-hmm. I, I don't play Engineer. I'm, I'm yeah, I mean, I don't play Engineer at all, <laughs> either. But when the, loose, okay. or the Lone Ranger came out, I was like, oh, I kind of want to play the Engineer right now. Well, me too, and then I tried it, and I just got so stressed out. I can't, I can't deal with Engineer. That's, yeah, that's a good point. That's... Yeah. <laughs> Next question. Friendly Rejection asks, what do you guys think the movie is going to be about? Oh, um... Uh, appalling, probably. Due yeah. to the, um, the, the files that were found fairly recently in Social Filmmaker. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess another question, what do you want the movie to about? Um... Spy. I feel like Spy is the most interesting character for a few reasons. Because Meet the Spy was like, I think it's my favorite one. It's because he's such a cool character, and he's like the dialogue would be great. Like as as seen in Meet the Pyro, the Spy's lines were fantastic. Quintessian asks, "How many crockets does it take to cap the intel?" Uh, like twenty. Like twenty, yeah. The Steam Lord asks, why is alligators so ornery? Um. <laughs> um. I mean, I feel like... Do you understand any basis for this question? I, I think I have a proper answer for it. Okay. Okay. They don't think it be like it is, but it do. Holy shit, what is that from? I know what that's from. What is that from? It's just like a quote from some baseball player. <laughs> I remember that, though. <laughs> they don't think it'd be how it is, but it do. I remember, like, hearing that somewhere with you assholes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Ansel3 asks, how much... Our best the- friend, Ansel3. Our best friend, Ansel3. Yeah, there you go. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck a woodchuck could chuck? Fuck off. Uh, Bar like in 20? space asks, where is beef? So where's the beef, Bar in space? Oh, it's crunchies. <laughs> Please stop. Where's the beef? Where's the scrunchie? Where's the, where's the weaver? Um, Monkey EXP7 asks, how can make to horn blow and get the mini crits? Uh, by getting uh, some damage with your rocket launcher and then building up your rage bar. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's a common, it's a common question. Yeah. How can get the horn blow mini crits? Yep. I feel like I'm doing a service here at tf 2 trickscom Yeah, I'm glad we were able to provide that information to people. Yes. You ignorant fucking individual. Da-doom. See, I feel as if there's a certain amount of creativity that comes with like being completely ignorant and not knowing anything about the world around you. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Like, like I commend. I, I was listening to this one podcast, I don't remember what it was called. It was like, why is everybody complaining about, they were like answering questions, right? And it was like, why is everybody complaining about hole in ozone layer when we can just take the oxygen and change it around and make ozone? I learned that in chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> or something like that. Fantastic. And he's like, I feel like there's just like a certain amount of creativity with not having your mind bound to any sense of reality. <laughs> Although, to this person's credit, I do feel like they were just kind of taking the piss. Oh, oh, I mean... Yes, that's exactly <laughs> just, what I'm doing. Just in case they're listening to this and they're like, "This guy's think I'm a fucking idiot." <laughs> These guys think I'm stupid. <laughs> These guys just think I'm fucking dumb, don't they? <laughs> well, shit. Uh, Unsubscribe. I mean, unfollow. <laughs> Unsubscribe. Unsubscribe. <laughs> okay. Any more questions do we have? Um, I think that's it, actually. Oh, I've got one more. Quintessation, quintess, quintessation, quintessation asks how many quintessation, quintessation, quintessation. Go fuck yourself. How many hats is too many hats? Like, like twenty. 
Uh, I don't know, I guess it depends. If you're a collector, then yeah, good, good for you. I think you need 69 hats. I was a collector. I'm selling everything now. Just, let me just plug myself there, I know what you're doing right now. I'm gonna plug myself at the end of the podcast, don't worry. Oh, fuck you too. I, 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 well, you're gonna do it too. How? Okay, how? You're gonna say, come follow my blog. Also, I've got a writing blog. Tape, tape, tape. I wasn't going to do that, actually. You should. But now that you mention it, I have a writing blog. <laughs> and I have a YouTube channel. Yeah, what's your YouTube channel, Rory? YouTube.com slash user slash Roar Plays Games. Aaron is going to be a sexy beast and is going to link it when this is posted. Absolutely. Thank you. I play games, Aaron's on it sometimes too, but not enough. <laughs> um, <laughs> my blog is mills, M I L L S dash writing dot tumblr dot com. I go there and I write. Um, GG. GG. Follow TFT Trick. Like, favorite, share, really helps out the channel. It's, it helps everything. It does, it does. Actually, is this going to go on YouTube, this podcast? Um, it can. Okay. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, we hope to see you guys somewhere in the ether. Shit, dude, really? Shit, dude, fuck, that shit's getting out. <laughs> <laughs>